Hey everyone, quasi-famous YouTube personality Brian Zane here from Wrestling With Regret, and you're watching somebody else on YouTube jamming Music Man. Oh yeah! What's up you guys, it's me Jammin Music Man and welcome to my special new video and in this video I'm giving you guys my top wrestling DVD Blu-ray picks that you should have in your collection for May 2023. So ring the bell and let's get right into it. Alright you guys, this first DVD that I recommend you guys having in your wrestling DVD Blu-ray collection. It's for all you Ring of Honor fans or for you people who want to get to the early years of Ring of Honor. Way before they had a TV deal or doing pay-per-views. Uh, during the early years they were pretty much a DVD monthly product company uh, during the early years. But this uh, ROH show that I recommend you guys having it's their debut show from February 2002, An Era of Honor Begins. And what a great show this was. And man, 2002, what was going on in the wrestling world during this time in 2002? Well, WCW and ECW had been dead for nearly a year at this point in time. And it seemed like the WWE was the only show in town, especially here in America. But things were starting to change during this time in 2002 and what a great way to start off 2002 in February uh, with the the debut of this brand new promotion and the very first match in Ring of Honor history it's kind of a, a controversial match you get the Christopher Street Connection who were an openly gay tag team uh, getting squashed by the Hit Squad and I've heard online I, I believe uh, this match right here has been, uh, you know, deleted from uh, the archives or from their streaming service. If you watch this show right here on their streaming service, they, they cut out that match. Uh, maybe some of you people out there know what I'm talking about during this match right here. But that's another story for another time. But you also get the late, great Jay Briscoe taking on the amazing red uh, great matchup and uh, when the Briscoes would say they've been there since day one they really were since day one of Ring of Honor but also on this card you get the late great Eddie Guerrero who was at the time the IWA Puerto Rico Intercontinental Champion taking on super crazy during this time in 2002 uh, Eddie Guerrero he was trying to uh, rebuild his career during this time because you know he had his uh, you know his uh, problems with drugs and alcohol and he was rebuilding his name on the independent scene and wrestling in Mexico and Puerto Rico and eventually later on in 2002 Eddie Guerrero would come back uh, to the WWE but great match between Super Crazy and Eddie Guerrero Super Crazy would end up picking up the win and becoming the IWA Puerto Rico Intercontinental Champion. And the main event for this card, great matchup. You get the American Dragon, Brian Danielson, taking on Loki, taking on the Fallen Angel, Christopher Daniels. And those guys right there, I consider them, you know, the, the forefathers of Ring of Honor. And great matchup. And like I said, if you guys want to get to the early years of Ring of Honor, this is definitely one to have in your collection. Uh, your best bet, if you want to pick up this DVD, uh, check out eBay. That's where I picked this uh, DVD up years back. But yeah, definitely one to have in your collection. That's the ROH, The Era of Honor Begins, their debut show. All right, you guys, this next DVD that I recommend you guys having in your collection is for all you ECW fans, and I'm taking you guys back 25 years ago. I can't believe it. 25 years ago, 
and it's one of their pay-per-views and I know a lot of wrestling fans consider this uh, one of ECW's worst pay-per-view but I actually enjoyed it and what I'm talking about is ECW Wrestlepalooza 1998. And this show right here is kind of special because this pay-per-view uh, took place in WCW territory. It took place in Cobb County, uh, Georgia, which, you know, at the time that was, you know, WCW territory. And uh, you get some great matches on this show right here. And I'm going to give you the list of the matches you get. Uh, the FBI, Little Guido, and Tracy Smothers taking on the BWO, uh, the Blue Meanie, and Supernova. Uh, you get Just Incredible taking on Mikey Whipwreck. Uh, great match. And I remember these guys had a great feud during this time at ECW. Also, you get uh, the ECW Tag Team Champions, Chris Candido and Lance Storm, taking on Axel Rotten and Balls Mahoney. And if you guys uh, remember at the time, Candido and Storm, they kind of had this hate-love relationship going on. But they were a great tag team. Uh, you get Bam Bam Bigelow taking on uh, New Jack, another great match. Tommy Dreamer and the Sandman taking on the Dudley Boys. And also you get uh, two of my favorites. You get the ECW TV champion Rob Van Dam taking on Sabu. Great matchup. Uh, they would end up going to a 30 minute time limit draw. And the main event for this card, you get the ECW champion Shane Douglas taking on Al Snow. And this would be Al Snow's swan song in ECW. Uh, as he would go on to the WWF during the summer of 1998. Uh, another great matchup. And also, uh, during this pay-per-view, uh, ECW would pay tribute to uh, the Southern legends like the Mass Superstar, Dick Slater, uh, Bullet Bob Armstrong, and also we would get uh, the last uh, appearance of the Junkyard Dog. That's right, the Junkyard Dog actually made a, an appearance in ECW and just a few weeks after this pay-per-view, uh, the Junkyard Dog would die tragically in a car wreck during the summer of 1998. But man, great show. A lot of, you know, memorable moments happened on this card and I actually, you know, enjoy it. And if you want, guys want to check out some classic ECW, you got to have this in your collection. Alright you guys, this next DVD that I recommend you guys having in your collection is for all you modern era NWA wrestling fans. Uh, this is a show that took place uh, way back in 2001. It's the NWA 53rd anniversary show, The Battle of the Belts. Uh, this is a great show right here. Um, you know, this is way before Billy Corgan bought the NWA. The NWA during this time was, uh, you know, they were not their former selves. They were putting on shows and, you know, small venues, but, you know, the NWA, they, they would keep on going. But this show right here is definitely one you should check out. On the show right here, you get a ton of uh, NWA title matches on this card, and I'm not going to bore you with listing every single match, but I'm going to give you some of the notable matches that are on the show. You get AJ Styles taking on Christopher Daniels in a really great matchup. Uh, I believe, uh, you know, Dave Meltzer and PWI, they talked about this match right here as like, you know, match of the year candidate back in 2001, but it is a great match that you guys should definitely check out. Uh, and then you also get uh, probably what a lot of people best remember from the show. You get the NWA heavyweight title match. You get the NWA champion Steve Carino taking on Japanese legend Shinya Hashimoto. And a lot of people talk about how this match ended up turning into a shoot. But then I've also heard from people that it was a work shoot. So it's kind of one of those, you be the judge. Did this really turn into a shoot or was this just a work? But it's a match you should definitely check out. Hashimoto ended up picking up the win and becoming uh, the NWA Heavyweight Champion. And uh, Steve Carino and Hashimoto, they would have, uh, you know, a short little feud during this time in 2001 and 2002. But the main event for this card is a War Games match. You get Team NWA Florida taking on Team IPW uh, Hardcore. Uh, IPW was a hardcore wrestling promotion 
down in uh, Florida during this time. And the big, uh, you know, shocking moment during this match, you get uh, wrestlers from NWA Wildside uh, coming down to the ring and attacking NWA Florida and Team NW, uh, Team IPW. But great show right here. Like I said, the NWA during this time, uh, this is way before Billy Corgan ever bought it. And, uh, you know, they were pretty much just a, you know, small independent promotion at this time. But like I said, great show. And definitely uh, uh, a show you should go and check out and add to your collection. All right, you guys, this next DVD that I recommend you guys having in your collection, it's another Ring of Honor classic, and it's a show that's the start of one of the greatest feuds in the history of Ring of Honor. And the show that I'm talking about is from January 2006, Hell Freezes Over. The main event, you get the ROH World Champion, Brian Danielson, taking on from Combat Zone Wrestling, Chris Hero in the ROH versus CZW feud, one of my favorite feuds ever in the history of Ring of Honor, and the ROH CZW feud would go on for many months in 2006, but this was the show that kicked off that whole legendary feud. Brian Danielson, uh, he would end up winning the ROH world title in 2005 and he was putting out an open challenge to any wrestler from any promotion around the world to come to Ring of Honor and face him. Well, you get Chris Hero uh, answering that challenge and Chris Hero uh, would end up coming to Ring of Honor in January of 2006 and they would have a 30 minute classic. And like I said, this was the beginning of the feud. So if you want to get to that ROH CZW feud, this is definitely uh, the show you should start with. Hell Freezes Over from 2006. But also on the show right here, you get AJ Styles taking on Matt Seidel. Great matchup between those two. And those two would end up forming a tag team. Uh, later on down the road, you get Samoa Joe taking on BJ Whitmer. Great matchup. Uh, also, you get Christopher Daniels taking on Jay Lethal. And also, you get an ROH Pure Title match. Nigel McGinnis, who is the ROH Pure Champion, taking on Tony Mamaluke. Uh, maybe some of you might remember Tony Mamaluke from his WCW ECW days. You get Austin Aries taking on Ricky Reyes. Uh, you get the FIP Heavyweight Title match between Homicide. Uh, taking on Roger Strong and Brian Danielson. That's right, Brian Danielson would end up wrestling twice on this show. Brian Danielson would end up winning the FIP uh, heavyweight title. Also, you get a six man match. You get a uh, six man mayhem match. You get Jack Evans taking on Trick Davis, taking on Sal Renaro, taking on Kid Mikazi, taking on Adam Pierce, taking on Jason Blade. But all around, this is a great show right here, especially the main event. And that's ROH Hill Freezes Over 2006. All right, you guys, this last pick that I'm giving you guys is one of my all time favorite New Japan wrestling shows. And it features a match that is definitely a must see match that you guys have got to see. And the show that I'm talking about is New Japan's. Sakura Genesis 2017 in the match that I'm talking about is the main event for this show. You get Katsuyura Shibata taking on the IWGP Heavyweight Champion Kazuchika Okada and this is a great matchup. They go about 40 minutes in this match and a lot of you probably out there know uh, what I'm talking about. Uh, Shibata gives Okada's these devastating headbutts and it's just a match that you have to see and you have to hear the thud of Shibata's head going up against Okada uh, that you know why this match was really great but sadly these headbutts that uh, Shibata would give uh, would end his career for a couple of years as uh, Shibata would suffer a, a brain injury after this match but it's a great match that you guys have got to check out New Japan during this time in 2017 were on fire, uh, but this is a great show. Uh, you get a, a bunch of matches with 
uh, Bullet Club and Chaos and Suzuki Goon, but the title matches you get on this card, you get War Machine going up against the IWGP Tag Team Champions, Ten Cozy. Great matchup. War Machine end up winning the tag belts, but then you get uh, Kushida going up against the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion, uh, Hiroma Takahashi. Takahashi would end up attacking Kushida before the match, end up uh, hurting his arm. Kushida would end up having to uh, tap out and the match was over in you know just a couple of minutes. Wish they would have had a little bit uh, longer of a match but the main event for this show is definitely one you should go check out. Uh, Katsuyura Shibata taking on Kazuchika Okada from Sakura Genesis 2017. Classic classic matchup and I picked up this Blu-ray from a great website called Dat Puro. I'll put a link in the description box below to Dat Puro's uh, website. Basically they make uh, custom made Japanese wrestling Blu-rays for you know uh, American players and uh, you know I bought a ton of stuff from them so go check that out but man this show right here Sakura Genesis 2017 a show that you gotta have in your collection Alright you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to give this video a like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Links to my Twitter and my Instagram will be in the description box below. So go follow me there. But guys, thank you so much for always coming back to my channel. Thank you for your support and thank you for always checking out my videos. But until next time, I'm Jammin' Music Man. This is Gladys and we will see you guys all in the next video.